light and love doing a pick a card reading today what does spirit want to tell you so I will give you a chance to just take a breath center yourself Sorry for the dog barking in the background. And pick either which crystal you are drawn to. This is clear quartz. This is selenite. And this is rose quartz. Now, these messages will be looked at with each of these decks so you can be either drawn to one of the decks but either way you will see each of these decks in your reading please remember that these readings are timeless so you can always come back another time and receive different messages okay with that being said, we're going to go for the people that picked the clear quartz. So this pile right here, this is the Moonology deck. Let me just light some sage. Okay, and for those of you that picked this deck with this clear quartz, you may not be thinking straight. Okay, you may need to clear your mind, your aura. You may need um, to figure things out, I'm hearing. I'm also hearing resetting your energy. It's time to reset your energy. For others of you, it's time to reprogram the way you're thinking. Okay, let's see. What's the spirit want to say or communicate for those that picked one? For those that picked one, what does spirit want to communicate for those that chose one? We have a flyer. Hold on. A win-win outcome is forecast. So I feel like some of you may be Libras, may be dealing with a Libra, um, or just may be dealing with being honest with yourself, going for what is true to you. Um, also, a lot of balancing. Uh, I feel a lot of third eye chakra here and a lot of heart chakra here with the pink and purple a lot of uh i also feel like a, there's a lot of compassion and understanding that needs to um that you may need to have at this time for this kind of um outcome for your situation so Spirit is saying something good is about to happen. Something good is coming. With the full moon is manifestation. So this could be something that you've been manifesting. Something that you've been spending so much time on. Something that you really care about. Something that is very precious in your heart. 
Spirit is giving you clarity on this situation. What else do we have for those that picked number one? Spirit message. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. All right, so let's talk about the new moon. The difference between the new moon and the full moon, okay? Because regardless of what moon phase it is, we can still manifest. So manifesting is just in general, okay? But when we talk about tapping into the moon cycles and the phases and what it means in our life and how it reflects energies into our lives, it's really about, you know, new moon is something new, adventure, um, having courage, you know, going and getting things done, right? Versus the full moon, which is all about getting rid of things that you don't need anymore or that doesn't serve you and brainstorming what you want to come in and fill that release, that void, right? So what I'm seeing here is that there is something good coming in. Do not hold on to the fears because if you're holding on to fear, whether it be wherever the supply in your life, money, uh, love, you know, family, wherever this applies, do not let the fear take over the spot where the blessing is supposed to come in. You need to clear this fear in order to welcome in your blessing. For others of you, you may be stuck in a very emotional spot right now, okay? And you have to be more level-headed. What else the spirit wants to know uh the spirit wants to communicate to those that picked one spirit messages spirit messages for those that chose one I think spirit is done with this deck and so we're going to move forward to the next deck which is actually an affirmation deck that I have had for a few uh, weeks now. Actually, a couple. And it's worked marvelously for the readings that I do. So, let's see. <clears throat> for those that chose one, what is Spirit's message? For those that chose one, what's Spirit's message? For those... That chose one. What is Spirit's message? Thank you. You have to decide. You have to make the effort to decide to release. I feel like this may have something to do with like an apology or something for some of you. Because Libra is also justice, right? So this may be a situation finally closing out. Both parties winning and someone has to or the both parties have to release the fear in order to win the situation. Spirit saying have wisdom. You know exactly what you want out of the situation so act like it. Gratitude, clear thinking. Wow, I told you guys, this is exactly what this stone is for. This crystal is to clear things up. Okay, your energy, your aura, your mind, um, any chakra that you work with. This is just cleaning and clearing things up. Okay, clear thinking. Some, someone's working on their self-worth. Okay, or I also see someone's like slowly taking this boulder up the hill. And so what, what I see is like slow progress. Okay, also with the snail here. Slow progress, slow and steady. Someone's building their confidence. Someone's building the courage to come forward and clear things up finally. Okay, we're going to go for the next deck. What else does Spirit want to say for those that chose number one? 
What else does Spirit want to say for those that chose number one? Thank you. Some of you may be oracle card re readers, tarot readers, psychics, mediums, um, in the spiritual gifted community, okay? And I feel like this is for a specific few of you. It's time for you to weigh out whether or not you want to continue with this business or you want to do something else. Others of you, I feel like you need to work um, on fear Okay, when you are reading others, I feel like sometimes your fear knocks out um, the way you channel your messages. And then we have school. So I feel like for some of you, you may be learning how to read tarot, learning your gifts, um, trying to balance things out between the physical and the spiritual realm. Um, you are seeing a lot of blessings coming your way. There is some clarity finally for those of you that are starting to learn how to read tarot or open up your gifts. I feel like you're starting to see things differently. It is very scary for you because you have not, um, tapped into this wisdom and knowledge before. And now that you are and you have this, uh, opportunity to, you have to make this choice whether or not this gift, this, um, time period, this, this road, this path is for you. And it's going to be a very slow process because you really want to be thorough with it. I feel like some of you, um, I'm feeling like a Virgo type of energy of like doing your research, really analyzing, really being skeptical of where you want to go next. Some of you, this can be you building your business because I see a lot of open space here. So, you know, deciding where you want to go. How far do you want to take this? See, you, you're building yourself. Alright. And then I want to go a little bit further and see the actual storyline here. And pull some runes as well. And I think I'm going to pull the runes first. Okay, so... We're just going to throw down the runes wherever they fall and see what they're clarifying. All right. Okay. So, I feel like, for some of you, this effort may come in waves and cycles. Or, the effort may not be clear. You know, I feel like... If this has to do with a specific relationship or, you know, either a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship, I feel like it's cycles. You're not really seeing the progress because of some separation, some block. Because I see this rock here, right? And then I see the rune here. So I, I kind of feel like you're not seeing what's coming next. You're not seeing the progress. And it's weighing on the decision because we have the third eye on top of communication. This is what the block is for some of you. If you've been asking, what the heck is this person doing? They're not contacting me. Or you're having some type of block somewhere in your life, whether it be money, you know. Um, there's something stopping you. There's a third eye block. Okay, which could be the third eye is blocked or the third eye is overactive. Okay, for some of you, the third eye may be completely closed. But I feel like for those of you, your third eye is open. But because your third eye is open, this communication 
is more of a spiritual communication than a physical communication. I feel like some of you are manifesting uh, telekinesis. I'm sorry. Manifesting telekinesis. And this is definitely between a male and a, a, a female. Or the, the feminine and the masculine energy. Okay. And then we have this right here. And I feel like it's swarming through. So I feel like this is... This person is tapping into how they feel about you. They're grateful for you. Okay? If this is specifically for love. If this is for love and it applies for you for love, then this person is grateful for you. Alright? They're starting to realize and think and, and tie together... How they feel and think about you. There's definitely a wave of communication that's coming that you're not going to see. There's this change of how this person thinks and sees you. And I feel like this is something very sudden. I feel like this person is going to make a very quick decision. Okay. With the star and the oracle card. Uh, life card next to each other. I feel like this is something that is destined. This is something that is of a divine nature. This is something that has to happen, right? And then we have the romance rune here. The romance rune is right under a win-win situation. So if this is a reconciliation type of reading for you and it applies to you in that way, then guess what? You guys are going to reconcile soon. It is destined, okay, this person has changed the way they're thinking. I feel like they have grown with the wisdom card, all right? I feel like they may have um, done research or, or learned things or now um, willing to actually research and learn things, okay? Because it's right next to school. They're willing to learn for you. They're willing to grow. They're willing to commit, with the rings room. This is a bond with, you know, a, like a friendship or a partnership if this is money related. If this is money related, you may be going into business with a man if you're a woman. Or a woman if you're a man. Okay? Some of you, this can be um, you coming into balance with your feminine and your masculine energy. Committing to learning and growing and investing time in your life path. Investing time in maybe romantic relationships or maybe loving yourself. Okay, being grateful for the things that are, are around you. And opening up um, in a psychic level. But there's a lot of fear here and that fear has to be released. Right? In order to welcome in those blessings for you guys. Let's go and see a little bit more into this reading. I want to see the storyline. What's the message here for those that chose one? What's the message here for those that chose one? Thank you. We have the emperor here. And so this may be, for some of you, this may be a relationship with an older man. If this has to apply for romance and maybe a relationship with an uh, older man, if this applies, you know, for a job or another area in your life, then I feel like this is like a father figure or a man of authority. Okay. Now, I feel like this man of authority has some type of impact on... What you invest in and what you don't want to invest in. Whether that be money or time or effort. Okay. We have the three of cups here. Right on top of the moon rune. So I feel like someone's definitely seeing how they feel about someone. 
I feel like this reading is coming out a little bit more on the gifted side for those that are gifted, your personal journey, and for those that are um, in some type of relationship, whether it be a twin flame or just a general relationship. There, there's definitely a reunion happening here. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles here reversed. And so I feel like someone is not feeling good enough for you. That may be a block. That may be the block. The fear of not being good enough. How can we be together if I'm not good enough for you? They're not seeing that they are good enough for you. And that you've been trying to, to communicate with them. And nothing is happening. That may be a specific uh, message for someone. But yeah. And then we have the page of wands here. Reversed. So I feel like they're definitely. I feel like their flame for their self esteem is like really low. And they're really willing to, you know, come in with the offer. But I feel like they have to be a little bit more confident. They need to build their confidence. I feel like for some of you, this may be a father figure. In which you may be asking for something. Because this this girl looks like she's receiving that pentacle from this section. So it looks like she's asking from it. You may ask something from your father or something or you have in the past or something like that. And everything was fine. And now things are different. Things have changed. I feel like some emotions were hurt. Some people were hurt. The relationship had to be weighed out. There was a, uh, there was a decision made. And someone may have got cut out of the family. Either cut out of the family. Cut out of the uh, expenses. Or just, just pushed out. Or someone's just not feeling good enough. For their father. And may have dad issues. And they have to decide to choose themselves. Let's see. What are the other messages that we have. For those that chose one. The star card. Wow. Right where the star rune is. So definitely divine, divine energy here. Two of Wands. Some of you are expanding. You're growing spiritually. You're learning more. You're changing the way you used to think and you're reprogramming your brains into, into learning how to manifest And to learning the warning signs with the smoke. I, I Every time I see that smoke, I feel like it's like communication. You know, Indians used to use smoke messages. You know, you light an incense to, to communicate with the spiritual energy, with the realm, right? So, knowing... How to communicate on a spiritual level. How to communicate with your higher self. Some of you are having this spiritual breakthrough. Where you're learning things about yourself. And committing to continue learning things about yourself. It's the last message that we have for those that picked one. Okay. We have the Hierophant in reversed. So I feel like some of you need to get out of the analysis and learning and get into the doing. Right? 
because there's no action here. They're saying like, hey, you have something. You have to start working on it. Because if not, the passion is going to go away. Yeah, we have the lovers here reversed. So I feel like someone is not seeing. Someone is not really seeing who they truly are. You know, their, their true value, their gifts. And I feel like some of you are discovering that. I feel like there's a call here. There's a calling here. She's calling for self-discovery, for self-expansion. Okay? This may be spiritual, emotional, mental, on an educational path level. You know, some of you may be, you know, going to school and having issues paying school off. And maybe you were relying on your father and your father cut you off. And now you don't know what to do. You feel like your light has been dimmed because you don't know which direction to go in. Right? And Spirit is saying it's time for a change. It's time to make a choice. A decision. Alright? You may be feeling like you're stuck. You may be feeling like, you know... At a stalemate position where you don't know, you know, how to get out of this mess. So you're just going to sit in it and wait for someone to rescue you. For some of you. But Spirit is saying that you can break through that. You have the wisdom, the knowledge to break through that. There's definitely some healing that needs to be accepted. That needs to be accepted on a mental level. Okay, for some of you, I feel like if this is love related and you're like choosing between two people, um, I feel like one of them may be very bitter, very cold, and the other may appear more well put together. They may be well put together on a financial level, um, or their, de their demeanor is very um, straight to the point. But on a very, um, a very calming and respected level. In the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel. So, honestly, y'all, things are turning good for you. Okay, wherever this applied, whether it have been money, you know, school, love, wherever, you know, on a spiritual level, wherever it hit, it hit really strongly. I, I saw a few different uh, messages here for those of you, and it's really all about clarity, mastering your mind, mastering how to communicate. That's what this reading is about. Mastering how to communicate and what to do with your thoughts. Whether they be negative or positive. How to shift those thoughts into something betterful. Um, well, betterful. <laughs> Beneficial. But yeah, something betterful. Something beautiful and better for you. Yes. Alright, so we're going to move for, for those that picked two. Alright, so we're going to go for those that picked or chose two, pile two, with the selenite, which is this one. 
Now this selenite crystal is an, an angelic crystal. It has very high vibrations um, and can clear out very toxic energy. It can cut through and clean up and cleanse the aura as well. But it really helps with communication with angels and archangels and spirits of a high vibration. This is also really good for um, truth and honesty um, with oneself and one's soul. All right, so we're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. All right, we're going to see what the spirit messages are for those that chose pile two. What are the messages for those that chose pile two? What do you need to release? Some of you need to ask yourself this question. Some of you know, but you're still holding on. You have to be truthful and honest with your soul, honest with your mind, body and soul you need to be honest this is fading whatever this is is fading with the waning moon you don't have much time left you have to decide to let go I'm hearing the time took its course release Hold your vision. I feel like some of you may be going back and forth with this. Because with the fixed moon is like, there's no change, right? And with the waning moon, this is spirit saying, you have to let go. Stop being stubborn. You're stuck here. You're stuck in that feeling. Stuck in that feeling. You and your loved ones are safe. This came out in the reverse. So maybe you're feeling scared. Maybe you feel like things aren't going to work out. Maybe you're not understanding why things have to end. But this is a new moon in cancer here. And this is exactly what you're doing. You're, you're, you're going. You're, you're a crab side to side. They walk sideways. You're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And instead of going back and forth, Spirit is saying, let go and welcome in the new. You're going to be okay, they're saying. This needs, to, this needs to leave. This person, this place. Whatever this is, it needs to leave out of your life. Wow. The North Node is all about things that are divine. Okay? It has to happen. It's already written in history. It is it. Okay? Step out of your comfort zone. So it's calling again. For you to let go of the past and take that leap of faith. It's calling. It's calling you. For those that chose number two. It's a divine message that you're receiving. A clear message. An angelic message. Coming from your spirit guides. For those that chose two. This may be a new friendship. Some of you may be closed off to getting new friends or expanding your social circle. You may be very closed off to um, doing that. And they're saying you need to let go. Welcome something new. 
relax. Everything is okay. Calmness is right over you and your loved ones are safe and hold your vision. It's talking about balancing, holding. It's like almost holding a poker face, you know, for some of you. This may be some type of communication standoff with an a, a, a old friend that wants a new friendship now. They want to start something new. But Spirit is saying, be calm. Don't freak out. Look at this. Breathing. Yeah. Be calm. Breathe. Everything's going to be okay. Determination. Know that this is going to grow. This is a flower blooming from concrete. Okay? This is amazing. I love this. Blooming from concrete. This is this is really talking about you following this through. Even though you don't know what is coming. Even though you you're you're second guessing. You know? They're saying relax, breathe, everything's okay. You may not see what's happening, but there's there's change here, there's growth here. There's joy here. Okay, let's see. I want to pull some life purpose cards on here. What is the message for those that picked number two? What is the message for those that picked this pile? What's the message for those that picked this pile? What's the message? Okay. So we have music. So for some of you, you may be expanding your network. If you're like, if your career is music based, um, you may be expanding your network, meeting new people. And this may be freaking you out because you've never really expanded, you never really uh, networked before, um, or you just don't trust these people with what you're creating, right? And Spirit is saying, be calm, breathe, not everyone, you know, is going to betray you. Because I feel like with the dog, dogs inspire um loyalty so i feel like this is a clear message for someone not everyone's gonna betray you you have to stay calm and breathe because there's going to be something new that's coming that you're not going to expect because no one's going to expect a flower to bloom from concrete right they're saying practice so they're saying do keep recording for some of you this is for for music really like strong for some of you, this is really talking about you continuing to per uh to uh really mind your 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 craft, like fix it and and tweak it and really enjoy what you're doing. Don't just do it to um to gain. A fan base. Do it because you enjoy it. And then we have protected here. So some of you may feel like you're not protected. Some of you feel like you're not guided. Um, and that's where that fear is stemming from. And that's why Spirit is saying breathe. We're here. It's fine. Just because you don't see us here. Just because you don't know who's coming near you. Just because you don't know what's going on around you. We're here. You're protected. It's okay. And then for some of you, this is oracle, tarot readings, um, mediumship, you know, having one of these gifts, um, being an empath. There's a whole bunch of di different gifts that you can um, look up and see if, you know, it applies to you. This is talking about growing. Music is also about healing, okay? So I feel like for some of you, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to release, 
Maybe you need to let go of old friends and welcome in new friends because those old friends were keeping you in a place that wasn't good for you on a um on a health level and you need to grow and you need to, you need to learn more about yourself, okay? About what you need to heal in yourself, the love that you need to give yourself in order to to um attract the friends and the network and people that you want around you to experience joy, right? Let's see. What else do we have for those that chose to? What else do we have for those that chose to? What else do we have for those that chose to on the new release? The Virgo, that's a Virgo card. Um, the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups here in reverse. So definitely someone's not accepting the fact that they need to heal. That there's things that they need to learn about themselves, right? This may be a little bit rebellious, when it comes to um, this type of energy. Clarify, hold your vision for me. Thank you. So withhold your vision and calmness. Some of you may be experiencing some very difficult fights. This may be actual fighting. Um... You know, bickering, going back and forth, or internal fighting. So, you know, fighting yourself, beating uh, yourself up about something, and feeling like you're entrapping yourself because you're beating yourself up, and, and you're causing more heartache, okay? This may have to do with a friendship. This may have to do with a friendship that needed to start again, or needs to start again, right? And... I feel like spirit is basically saying you need to accept that it's time to heal. You need to accept that it's time to give yourself some love instead of giving yourself away and investing so much time in others. You're definitely overwhelmed here, emotionally and mentally. And that's why, look at that, tower, breathing. Okay, so with the tower card, listen, y'all. This is not, yeah, it may look really crappy in the three-dimensional world, in the world that we're living in. You know, loss of job, end of a relationship, just, you know... Something not working out that needs to get fixed. Okay? It's just, I, the way I'm seeing it is, this needs to get taken out of your life. This wasn't working. Okay? This was harming you on a mental and emotional level. It, it's just, it's no good. And it's time to let go. And Spirit was saying, it's time to let go. So you can welcome in your blessing. Okay. See, for some of you, you're a Scorpio that's heartbroken and overwhelmed mentally. But there's a new cycle about to begin. And it's time for you to choose to walk away. Okay. Because... You're done. You're done feeling overwhelmed. You're done feeling um, overburdened. You just, you don't want that feeling anymore. And that's why they're saying you have to be determined. You have to be determined in this situation. You know where it applies. Yeah, some of you are coming out of the cold. 
Like if someone left you out in the cold or you kind of backed away from someone, you're coming back. You're coming back and you're like, you know what? I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to be sad. I want to try again with the practice card. The Spirit is saying you have to make sure you're grounded. And that you're sure of what you want when moving forward. We have the Fool card. We have the Magician. This is something that is specifically woven and crafted for you in your life right now. So even though you feel like you're freaking out or you're scared and you don't know what to do and you don't want to let go and you're, you're very um, resistant towards this, this is something that has been coming for you for a long time. You're going to start thinking clearly. I feel like with the star card here in reverse, this is talking about listening to your call. This is about not not hearing your, your calling, not hearing the message that, hey, your blessing is coming, it's coming, it's coming. And instead, when that call is, is um, calling, you're freaking out because you don't know, you don't understand what it means. You're confused, right? I'm going to pull some runes here and see where this applies and what areas in your life specifically. All right. So... I feel like this, you, you freaking out and feeling this way is specifically for you to gain hope and have faith and learn um, how to weigh things out in order to, to achieve things, okay? Because you have to breathe. You have to breathe through it. You have to keep pushing no matter how how heavy things get no matter what how tough the decisions are going to be to move forward you know it's really about making those choices and those decisions with the crossroads here right you have to make those choices and decisions even if they're endings all right now with you know the 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 rings here I feel like this is really something about, this can be about a specific marriage. This can be a marriage going south. Um, and new things are coming in for you, even though you're, you're, you're feeling very dark and very blue and very unsure of what's happening around you. But these changes, you know, with the third eye is something that, was not foreseen. You know, the change in the marriage was not foreseen. And, you know, whatever you reaped, you sowed. And so, whatever you watered in the relationship, if this is relationship-based, or, you know, apply it wherever. Whatever whatever you watered, whatever you cared for in, in this um, sector in your life, you really invested and manifested things through it. And so that's why this change is here. Maybe you manifested someone that um, you thought was better for you. Or maybe you were manifesting while you were with someone and you thought you were manifesting them and you manifested someone else that was actually better for you. But for those of you, I feel like this is a time for you to really be honest with yourselves emotionally. You have to ground yourself and be honest with yourself emotionally. Because if you don't ground yourself and be honest with yourself emotionally, you're, you're going to uh, block the time in which you're going to be joyous and happy Versus the time where you're going to suffer and feel overwhelmed and, you know, depressed and stuff like that. You're going to stay stuck in this tower moment. If you don't move forward. You know, you're going to be sad. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be broken hearted. I'm saying you have to, you have to listen to how you're feeling. 
Because that's telling you something. It's warning you. This partnership, relationship, whatever it is, is not working. It's not. And it's time to balance things out and communicate that. All right, so that's the message that we have for those that picked two. And we're going to pull for those that chose three. Now for those that chose three, the crystal that was on top of the deck is a rose quartz. And so this crystal is all about compassion, self-love, the heart chakra, um, heightening the auric fields on a love vibration. Okay. Really good healing work that you can do with the rose quartz. Consciously or subconsciously. I like to do things subconsciously. Um. Because when I am awake, I am dealing with a lot of, of spiritual messages. And so, I like to work with Rose Quartz and Reiki and healing and stuff like that on a subconscious level. So, that means that I will meditate right before bed. And if the meditation puts me to sleep, then that is how I meditate. Um, and I find that I get clear messages and um, clear prophetic dreams that way. Okay, so for those that chose three, what spirit's message? A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. So yeah, definitely. If this is coming, it's coming like tomorrow. Because... And it will be crazy if it did happen tomorrow, okay? Let me get, let, you guys got to let me know how accurate that is. But I feel that this is coming now, like, with full force. Because I'm seeing this ram, like, just ready, running, charging. We have you, your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn. So the fact that... I see this here like this. I feel like this is um, something that has been building for a really long time because I do see red here. And I feel like this, for some of you, may have to do with your root chakra or a relationship-based um, type of energy. And so this is something that has been coming for a really long time. All right? You are going to see this coming. You're going to see it coming. I feel like for some of you, you've been looking for it. A time to give rather than to take. So maybe some of you need to give to yourself more than to expect others to give it to you. Take time to breathe out. Some of you may be very hot-headed and um, fiery. You may be a fire sign. And you immediately charge or snap at things. And Spirit is saying it's time to breathe. It's time to be a little bit more conscious of your reactions. Alright? It's saying step out of your comfort zone. So maybe that means that you actually having to deal with your emotions and talk about how you're feeling is going to be very difficult for you. And you may be stubborn with this Capricorn here. Because this Capricorn is all about, hey, I'm going to do what I need to do and get it done. And if something is stopping that, they're going to keep going, pushing full force, no matter what, until they have a breakthrough, right? But they're saying, step out of your comfort zone. You have to breathe more. You have to give to yourself now. It's time for, for you. It's time for you. It's time for you to invest in yourself now. For those that chose three. One more card for those that chose three. 
For those that chose three, one more card. For those that chose three. All right, and then we have a new romantic cycle begins. So I feel like some of you have been working on a relationship really hard, okay? And now you're going to start seeing either this person coming in, right? And then right around the time this person comes in is right around the time that you're going to be willing to invest in yourself and uh, maybe even pampering yourself and stuff like that and taking some time off from investing time in this person or relationship or um, whatever sector this is in your life. But this person is going to call you out of your comfort zone. You know, you're feeling yourself, everything's fine, and they're just going to come out of nowhere and burst your bubble and say, here I am, and here's my love offer. Okay. Let's see. Some of you, this is going to cause excitement. It's also going to re. Um, it's going to cause you to reevaluate who you are now. Like reflect on who you are. Be reflective. I'm hearing. Fiery comics approaches, please. Clarify. Messages for those that chose three. Messages that chose for those that chose three. Thank you. All right, we have determination here. Right over Aries, so yeah, definitely. That person's charging in. They know what they want. They're determined. Sponta spontaneous person here. They're so courageous. It comes out of nowhere. Optimism. So Spirit is saying, if this is a relationship that you've been waiting on, if you've been separated, this is like a twin flame journey or a soulmate journey, um... Or this just may be a you know a, a tough cycle that that happens from time to time in a certain area in your in your life, you know, whatever sector that is. I am seeing something coming, something blooming out of nothing. Okay, so spirit is saying you have to be positive. Something's coming, and you're not going to expect it. It's going to throw you off. It's going to bring happiness. All right, freedom. Teamwork, anger, generosity, self-love, work-life balance. All right, so I feel like if this is a specific relationship, romantically based, I feel like the both of you are going to start working together. You're going to start in a good note, but I feel like there's some anger that needs to be released. This anger needs to be released with self-love. Someone is beating themselves up about the past and is it's, it's going to um, hurt, harm themselves more than actually enjoying the relationship, right? So when this person comes with this love offer, because here it is, I said that and it's right on top of a new romantic cycle begins. They're coming in with that love offer. You have to remember that that person also has to offer themselves love or if not, they're going to be angry in the relationship. All right. Self-love is going to free them. They're also going to have to have a balance between the self-love and the love that they give to you and the time that they, that they invest in life, um, meaning at work or doing other things. They need to learn how to balance things is what I'm hearing. For those that chose three. Let's clarify and go deeper for those that chose three. Thank you. I feel like this person was very sad without you. With the tower moment, yeah. There was definitely heartbreak. Like, just stuck. In the breakup, stuck in the separation, stuck in the rut, not feeling loved, not feeling enough, not feeling worthy. But I feel like they're they're starting to heal. They're starting to move forward away from that heartache, away from feeling um, that way about themselves. But they still have a lot of work to do with the high priestess here. 
There's a lot of work that needs to be done. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Self-image work. Definitely looking to move forward from that. Looking forward. Is it right for you to look forward? To expand? The messages for those that chose three. I feel like you're very skeptical. This person may, may feel very... Um, timid of not knowing what's going to come next now that they're healing they're not knowing what's going to come next and they're kind of freaked out they 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 really know that they want you if this is a, a relationship um if it applies in your in love life they want you they know that they want you that they're ready to heal to be with you but i feel like they're so afraid that their their fear is blocking them with the chariot reversed. It's blocking them. The fear. That they need to work on investing in actually... And, and I don't think it's courage. I feel like this is... This is really about feeling resilient. The energy of owning who they are. Their self-image. You know, what they do. Their pride. This is affecting their pride. For some reason, like, they're off balance because it's affecting their pride. But guess what? They see happiness with you. There's definitely something good here coming. And fast. Okay, for some of you, this could be reconciliation that may, you know, um, be you two bumping into each other on that same day or the next day. There is an intimate um, moment between you two. He's this person's definitely fighting themselves in their head, going back and forth. Like, why did this happen? Why did this happen? How can I fix this? They're really fighting themselves about this, trying to humble themselves to get this this happy ending this this stable ending this 10 of cups this is what they want they're fighting for it they want they want this and they're they're fighting themselves because they they don't believe that they're they're worthy of enough and they feel that at the end they don't know if you're going to say yes or no and so now they have to keep reflecting on themselves and they're beating themselves up about, you know, who they were. They're scared to be themselves around you because they fear that that person is not worthy to be with you. And I want to pull some runes. That one came out. All right, we have the sun next to the moon, so there's definitely going to be a union. I feel like something may happen in the eclipse. One of the eclipse coming up, there may be um, a tower moment or some restructuring that needs to happen. I feel like there's changes when it comes to this relationship. So if you guys were in a separation, if you broke up and you were in a separation, I feel like that's going to change and you may end up together or the relationship may grow. For others of you, if you're together, then this is a warning sign. There's going to be a breakup. You may try to work it out. Things may, uh, you may gain another honeymoon period. You may discover yourselves a little bit more, but the fear and everything that is blocking it is... It's meant to be. It's meant to be broken. And it's because there's a brand new cycle coming with the eclipse kind of energy there. Like, for some of you, I feel like this is soulmate energy. So a soulmate connection is going to happen. 
And in order for that soulmate connection to happen, those of you that are, will be in a third party situation, that will end. And eventually you'll meet that person. That person may be a Libra. That person may be a Gemini. Um, what else am I seeing here? Uh, that is basically what I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing any other signs. I'm seeing Gemini or Aries, um, Libra. Yes, those are the signs that I'm seeing. And those ha don't have to be the signs, but that that can give you little tidbits of, you know, what's, you know, who who it may be around you. So that's the message that I got for those that chose three. Please um Feel free to communicate and contact me um, to see what other kinds of videos you would like me to upload and come up here and do, you know, what kind of readings, what kind of pick a card readings I should do. Um, all my information is in the description box below, so just if you would like to go ahead and book a uh, reading with me or any other of, uh, other of my services, you can go ahead and contact me. Um, I'm also opening up my Etsy shop by uh, the end of this weekend. And I have um, a couple different things that I have available. I am going to be making these little message in a bottle. Um kinds of bottles and stuff like that they're going to be different sizes I have these I have these and I also have these little small ones I haven't filled this one yet but these little ones too right and I will be selling that in my shop um, if you're interested in any of the Reiki healing or virtual services with candle lights and stuff like that, just contact me. I am also preparing different oils that will be um, sold. So different conditioning oils like Love Me Now, um, Fatal Attraction. Um, I am also creating Soul Family Oil, Twin Flame Oil, Soul Flame Oil, and... Um, Spirit guide oil as well. Um, so with that being said, I le let you go with light and love. And I will see you next time.